Hello everyone, my name is Robin Shaw and welcome to today's live stream. I'm coming here, I'm coming to you here from South Korea. And I tell you, South Korea is losing the battle with coronavirus. Today, uh, we have some stricter rules. We, we cannot sit down in the coffee shop. We can only get takeout coffee and some other rules. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing fine around the world. Uh, as you can see, I have very uh, sad news. Uh, there is no lesson planned today. Uh, tomorrow is when I start my semester. So the last few days, whew, I've been really busy uh preparing for my new semester the new semester is online again so preparing for an online semester is a lot more difficult than preparing for an offline semester and i'm not only preparing for myself but i'm also helping some other professors prepare for the online semester and wow it, i've been busy so much so much to do but I am here now, and let's take a look at who else is here. Where are the good students? Layla's here, Sleepwalker, Lolly Lolly, hello guys, Mariam, Amuran, uh, welcome, Michelle, welcome, Kaderia Hassan, welcome, Motion. Abana, hello, Daniel, Harry, Madi, Ashamari, Rohan's here, Safana, Abdullahi Ahmed. Uh, I know I'm not pronouncing your names correctly, sorry. Nubs Channel, I'm doing fine. Mays here, hello, Mario S. Hello, Robin. Oh, and we have another new member, Maka Maki Schwein. Hello, Maki Schwein. Welcome. Uh, I don't think... Do I know you? Are you in WhatsApp? Wardakan, Wardakan, do we... Well, there's a lot of people. Adhiki, uh, Anhika Panasti Putri. Did I do okay? Alyssa's here. Alpita, Hidden Boy. He he is hidden. Hmm. Is Hidden Boy gonna cause trouble? I hope not. All right, guys. So uh, there's no lesson planned today. We'll call it a Q and A. If you got any questions, let me know. Oh, Sherry's here. If there's something you would like to talk about, let me know. If you want to talk about your life, anything, let me know. Let's do this. Uh, I do. I, I With Sherry here, a lot of you know Sherry. We're trying to get her set up with a live stream. Uh, uh, maybe uh, my, my time is Wednesday. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll, up, I'll update the uh, schedule with Sherry's live, uh, live stream. I'll put in a post announcement in a day or two. Hello, Michelle. Thank you very much for the coffee. You paid for my coffee. I'm sick of tea. And now with Michelle's help, I can buy coffee. But in Korea, can't, can't, you can't sit down in a coffee shop anymore. You got to... You can only get takeout coffee. And uh, the restaurants, I think they close... They close early, the restaurants. I'm not sure of the rules for Corona. Layla, how many videos do you have to do for your students at the university? Uh, in Korea, the university semester, first the first semester starts in March. The second semester, well, this year starts tomorrow, August 31st. And the one semester is 15 weeks. So I have to make 13 videos because uh, one week is a midterm and one week is a final exam. I don't need to make videos 
those weeks. So it's 15 weeks. I get to make 13 videos. Uh, I don't have to make them all right now. I only made one today. But I also have to help uh, two other professors make videos. So that would be 39 videos I have to make uh, this semester with the other prof uh, professors. And each video in Korea, we have to do 45 minutes. One video is 45 minutes. So I have to teach for 45 minutes and then give homework. And the students send me the homework and I have to check the homework every week. So that's what's happening in, in my university in Korea right now. So there's a lot of work. And yeah, before, before uh, my live stream today, I sat down and I made a 45 minute video talking about the class. I didn't teach anything in the video. I just talked about the class, talked about me and talked about the rules of my class. And I'm a strict teacher. Thank you for your question, Layla. Mirzan, hello. Maki, are you also going to send materials? When do you, what, what kind of materials, when? Abdullah Hakim, talk about the journey of learning English. Well, I'm a native speaker, so I was born lucky. Uh, I was born in an English-speaking country, and I, I, I do feel privileged. Uh, so I have no journey. Well, I guess I do have a journey, because when I was a baby, I did learn English, and I'm not perfect yet, uh, but I'm pretty good. Uh, for you guys, you're all on your journey uh, learning English. Each of you, you know, it's a long journey, I know, and there's lots of... There's lots of rivers to cross. There's lots of mountains to go up. There's lots of valley, valleys to get through. Uh, there's lots of walls you have to climb over or get around. That's your English journey. You're all taking it and you're all at different levels. So Abdul Hakim, uh, tell me about your English journey. Hello, hello. Well, it looks like he, he. Kishore, Kishore, hello. Madi, we need to talk about busy times during the starting school and working. How can we study English? Well, Madi, uh, you know, I'm a reading teacher. I always encourage uh, reading. Reading will get you... To me, reading is the quickest way to fluency. So... Read every day, read one hour every day, 30 minutes to one hour every day. And I promise you, after two years, you're going to master uh, 6,000 to 10,000 uh, vocabulary and you're on your way to fluency. Reading. What did you read today? Sherry, I hope you're able to shoot the video with little editing. Yep, I don't edit. My, my university videos don't require editing. I just sit down, turn on the camera, I teach 45 minutes. Well, I, I prepare a PPT, so I'm well prepared. One, one class is about 100 PPTs. And if I make a mistake, I don't have to edit that for my university students. So they're very, fairly easy. Little Robin is always... Oh, Little Robin is here, if you guys want to see. I, I need a chair for him. I don't know. He's off camera these days. Lewis, when the topic is vast and you are to go deep into it, time flies, yes. Madi, also have a privilege in Arabic. Yeah, um, you know, every to me, every language is important right every every language is complicated every language is difficult to learn and every language must be respected and certainly arabic is a language uh, that i respect and uh, about a week ago i got a message in arabic uh, from a student 
And, you know, I, I thought, hey, I'm going to try to read this message. So I went online and I tried to learn how to write Arabic by myself. And I tried to read the message the student sent me. And what I learned was it, it is impossible to teach myself. I could not, I could not learn Arabic by myself or the basic, I, I, I would need a teacher. Layla, yeah, I have to teach my students online. Everything's online in Korea. Uh, no, I don't, Sherry, I don't do any live, te thank God. I don't do any live teaching at the university. We don't use Zoom. Uh, we don't do uh, any live teaching. I think some professors do uh, because that's the nature of their ma major uh, they need to do something live, but uh, for my stuff, no. Uh, and I'll, I'll, you know, Sherry, my 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 university, the English department is not the top department. We're kind of the extra department, so there's not much pressure or demand on what we need to do and prepare. Well, we need we need to prepare our classes and do the basics, but to they don't really care too much about our department. I, I should ta stop talking about that. I love my university. It's a really good university. Francis, I'm glad to see you again. How's your day? Very busy. Today was probably the busiest day of 2020. Rowan, Robin, let's play a game. You give us a word and we're going to come up with some sentence. We can learn some new words that way as well. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, let's see, what is a, you know, I wrote some emails today. And what's, what's a good word that, that I use today? My vocabulary is not that big, guys. So uh, uh, what's the most complicated word I use today? Oh, uh, here. It's not that complicated, but here, clarification. There's a good word. If you guys could bring in some example sentences using the word clarification. Is that a game? That's not a game. Rohan, but that's good study. So Rohan, clarification. Bring in some sentences using clarification. Little Robin is always happy, sleepwalker. Oh, Sherry, all your lessons are live. Live lessons, I'm going to be honest, live lessons in many ways are easier than recorded lessons. Uh, if, if the students are good. So uh, you guys are talking a lot, but, you know, there, there are some classes or live streams I've had. Nobody's talking. Only I'm talking. So those kind of lessons, if you're doing Zoom, I've, I've done, I've tested Zoom a few times and the students are quiet. And it's just not what I, not, I don't like it. And also, well, Zoom also has problems with Wi-Fi connection. Some students uh, have problems connecting, uh, but uh, I prefer live uh, if, the students are great and you guys are great you always keep me active and busy and thinking Layla why did not why didn't you ask me for help learning Arabic that would be my pleasure uh, I just wanted to uh, when I when I tried to learn Arabic I just wanted to see if it was possible I could do it myself because I, I think I'm a little bit clever on some things but for this I, I was not clever I couldn't do it but uh, I have no desire to keep studying Arabic I'm sorry guys I just don't have time uh, but certainly in the future when I have more time Layla you'll be the first person you'll be the first person I contact for any help with Arabic. And Mahdi, Arabic is a difficult language, maybe the hardest language. 
Well, I don't want to get into a debate of the hardest language because uh, from my experience, write, writing Chinese is probably the really hard. I, and Arabic seems for writing Chinese and Arabic seem the hardest to me, of course, but uh, uh, the hardest language might be Arabic, but uh, that's, that's debatable. Others could argue, is English difficult? That's all I care about. Is English difficult? No, guys, English is so easy, right? Layla, do other professors come to your house for doing their lessons? Yep, the other professor, uh, yes, Yesterday, there was two professors here, and the day before that, there was a professor. So my house has been pretty active. And when they come to my house, we're all wearing masks. We're all wearing masks in Korea. Whenever even three people meeting, two people meeting, we wear masks. Very strict. Uh, we all very, very obedient people. Gertrudis, hello. Fatime Gayori, sorry if I mispronounced your name. Uh, you can help. I know many people, you know, if I said I was uh, looking to study Arabic, I know so many people would be excited to help me. Gertrudis, my connection is not good. That's too bad. All right, Lewis, I require clarification on my bank statement. That's good. Is that yours? Is that your sentence, or did you copy that? Mary OS, I'm new to this channel. Thank you for your help, Robin. Well, if you got any questions, let me know. Melissa, I need some clarifications regarding the topic. Now, we probably we wouldn't use that S. We would just say, I need some clarification. So if you're talking, uh, I'm, I'm trying to see where would we use it as plural. Just taking a look. It's, it's, it's usually uncountable. It can be used countable, but we usually use it uncountable as a so you would just say, I need some clarification regarding uh, the topic. So thank you for uh, putting in a sentence. And because you have a mistake, that's how I know you're a good student and you made it yourself. May, she, she meets us to give a clarification. Is the sentence true? She meets us to give, you don't give a clarification because well, I guess, you know, let me, let me check that. So it's, it's a little odd. We don't, we don't usually say give a clarification. Uh, I need, you would say she, she meets us to get clarification we might say get clarification about the topic or about something or she she meets us because she needs clarification she needs something to be clear so you can get clarification you you might need clarification and i always ask robin for clarification Again, we, we, we usually use clarification about something. So, Lewis, I need clar I require need clarification on my uh, bank statement. I need clarification on the topic. Uh, so, yeah, if you said I need clarification, uh, what topic are we talking about? So, you would say, uh, Robin... Or lolly lolly. I always ask Robin for clarification. Uh, uh, so I always, I always ask. Let's let's keep it uh, ongoing here. 
I always ask Robin for clarification about my English, maybe. Lewis, I also failed failed at memorizing Arabic script. Script. Hmm. Why were you learning it? Robin, your clarification about what happens to Korea is very clear. Okay, that's 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 a little better. I need a clarification. No, we treat it uncountable. I need clarification about your low level in the exam. Mm, I need clarification about your. You would uh, you would ask. I need clarification. You're talking to a teacher. I need some clarification about my score. Yeah, I'm gonna help you out here, guys. With uh, let's go to Oxford. Oxford Dictionary. As you, most of you know, I'm a fan of the Oxford Dictionary. Fan of the Oxford Dictionary. So here, clarification. The act or process of making something clear or easier to understand. An example I am seeking, I am looking for clarification of the re uh, of the regulations. Oh, gee, there's a lot of comments. Let's see. I'll speed up. You guys are talking. Rohan, the answers to those questions, those questions definitely require clarification. The answer to that question definitely requires clarification. That's okay. Daniel, when I use a word as adjective, how do I know if it if needs ED? He is a finished violinist. No, 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 no. That's something wrong with your example one. I have a complete set of He is a Finnish uh sorry Daniel the example one really throws me off. He's a finished violinist. What do you mean finished? We know he's finished before violinist. Daniel, please bring in some uh another example one. Lewis, the easiest is Esperanto. Yeah, Esperanto was designed to be easy to learn. Uh, I have not learned that. But yeah, there's a lot of man-made designed languages. Esperanto is probably the most famous. Do you speak Esperanto, Lewis? Gertrudis, for understanding that lesson, I needed a clear clarification from my teacher. Sounds good. Rohan, I need clarification on why English grammar is so confusing. <laughs> well, your, your sentence is a little awkward because is English grammar so confusing? And you need clarification why. I don't, I don't think any, any teacher can cl clearly say why it's so confusing. Mike Tech, hello. Oh, okay. So he he is an accomplice. Uh, going back to Lewis's question, you could say he's an accomplished uh, violinist. So accomplished there is used as an adjective. Uh, so we use like there's there might be specific adjectives like accomplished, but it's not finished. Accomplished, very good. So accomplished is a would be better for your sentence, not finished. Alyssa, is there a difference between lucky, fortunate, and privilege? Yes, there is. Well, I think lucky and fortunate are very similar in the same family. Uh, I, I can't think of every example using those words, but I would say they're pretty much the same thing. I'm, I'm lucky. I'm fortunate. Privilege is different. All right. So, uh, priv you could argue privilege, people with privilege uh, had a lot of luck in their life. 
Um, but uh, I'm not going to go into a detailed answer. I, I don't have my whiteboard. I'll just say lucky, fortunate, same, privilege. Lucky, fortunate, our brother and sister. Privilege is a, a little bit of a cousin, cousin word. Uh, it has more meaning. If I, if I said I'm lucky, that means I'm lucky. If I said I'm fortunate, that means I'm lucky. If I say I'm privileged, uh, that could mean I'm lucky, but it means so many other things. Sorry, Alyssa, that's the best I can do. Fatima, what do you expect from your WhatsApp students? Well, I expect my WhatsApp students to be active, help others, and be sincere. Is that you? In France, people are not very obedient, unfortunately. And yeah, lolly lolly, I understand. Uh, Asians are obedient. I, I must admit, uh, for the mo not all of them, of course, but for the most part, uh, Koreans, Japanese, Chinese, uh, I don't know about Southern Eastern Asia very well, what they're, how obedient they are now, but Korea, Japan, Taiwan, China, I think they're pretty obedient. So when the government says this is the rule, most people will follow that rule very well. Not all, not all, but... Layla, do you have to do Skype every Sunday with your students like last semester? I don't know. I don't know yet, Layla. A little, a little Laura. God bless you. I like your class. Well, thank you, man. Obedient. There you guys. There's a new word. Bring me a sentence with obedient. Let's practice obedient. Can you provide a clarification? Provide a clarification? Hmm. So, Sherry, whenever, whenever, because I've been in Korea a long time, I'm always confused of common expressions because sometimes uh the sentence is grammatically correct but do people use it that's what i forget a lot so i usually go to youglish.com and i just posted a link there in youglish and it's not connecting to youglish.com and then i would type in provide a clarification and that the youglish goes through YouTube speeches and presentations and finds every instance of that. Let's see, provide it. And Youglish mm -hmm. I want to also provide a clarification. There you go. Provide a clarification. According to Youglish, it's not so common, but people do provide a clarification. So youglish.com, guys, if you if you want to know if a native speaker is using that sentence or how how common or whether it's British or American, go to youglish.com, type it in. And you'll go through YouTube videos giving you samples of people using these expressions. The students are continuously asking for clarification. Yes, they are. That's Which one do you use the most? Okay or okay? Uh, well, I usually just quickly say okay without even the, the periods there. But... Uh, I don't know what the dictionary says, but okay, if we're in an essay, you would never write okay. So it's a very informal word. You would probably only use it in chat. So most people say okay. Um, but officially, I don't know. Let's do a 
quick check of Oxford Dictionary. Man, they, they have to... Both styles are okay. O okay or okay, O-K-A-Y. So, but... I would say O oh, period K period no. We just say OK or OK. And no. There. I need clarification. Yep, that makes sense. Jonathan, hello. Layla, come on, I haven't got all. Where is he? Doesn't mean I don't have enough time. I don't have all day. I don't have all day. So I don't have time. Yeah, I don't have time. Clarification of my hair. No, 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 no. We're not going to use clarification for hair. Sorry, Lewis. Clarification is usually information. Just information. Layla, could I know how many students do you check their homework every day? About well, I don't check homework every day, but in a week I have about 300 students at my university and I have to check their homework. I've seen, oh, Lewis has seen so many Arabic speaking people on WhatsApp. Yeah, there's a lot of Arabic speaking people on WhatsApp. It's always hard to get through to them. Yeah. And you know a bit of Esperanto. Interesting. You sound like a very interesting person, Lewis. Robin, could you give me some clarification about this word in its meanings it's mean oh you fixed it yep that's right oh he is a frightened boy the adjective ed i have co i have a complete set of uh harry potter so you're going there's a yeah daniel there's a very a uh, small list of ed adjectives and you just have to memorize the list so let's see Let's go to the British British Council. And I'm going to put a link to the British Council there. That's the list and there's there's no rule. You just have to learn the the learn the list, okay? And practice sentences using that list. So I think you're looking for some easy rule to remember whether or not you can use ED or not ED. No. Go to that list. You got to remember that list. It's common that some professional terms require a kind of clarification. Yeah, that's a good example, Sleepwalker. Certainly professional terms require clarification. <sighs> Thanks, Lolly Lolly, Alyssa. Teachers love obedient students. Perfect, perfect example. Children behave obediently to receive gifts. Good example. CB, Robin, can you tell one childhood game you really miss? Asking about my childhood. Ugh. Well, in my childhood, I didn't really play games you know I, I went outside I was always outside playing outside whatever the season I was outside playing so I do miss that playing outside I grew up in northern Canada so there's lots of trees there's lots of rivers there's lots of lakes there's lots of animals wild animals and I yeah I miss that I know obedient is related to obey, yes. You could use Google Trends as well. Yeah, 
Uh, but for you, Glish, I like to hear the British or the uh, American accent. And Euglish uh, shows like Obama saying these words or other famous people saying these expressions. To be obedient, to be an, a good example to others. Yep, sounds good. CB, Robin, life is not a cakewalk. Incidents from the past that made you realize this. Oh, CB, life has never been a cakewalk for me. Um... Uh, it's always been a struggle so I am not privileged I'm not lucky in that sense I've had to work hard all my life so life is not a cake cake cakewalk so Sibby there is using uh, an idiom cakewalk not a cakewalk cakewalk would mean easy so not a cakewalk not easy I was always taught to be obedient, especially towards the el elderly. Yes. CB, Robin, what are the stereotypes that you regularly face? How do you cope, cope up? No, we don't say cope up. Just how do you cope with them? Well, you know... Uh... I can't really talk about that CB that's a topic that might get me in trouble so um, I'm gonna have to pass on that one you CB you always have good questions but some of them are sensitive and can get me into trouble so uh, I'm gonna pass on that one gratuitous during the quarantine a lot of people have been so obedient to use really gratuitous and I think a lot of people uh, are not obedient during quarantine, but your sentence makes sense using obedient. Lewis, lightenification. Oh, that, I don't know that word. Lewis, do a quick check. I've never seen that word before. Lighten, I can't even say it. Lightenification. Yeah, it's not in Oxford. Uh, someone might use that, but uh, I, I, I'm not good. I'm not good with hair, Lewis. I don't know the correct expressions for that. Just light, lightening my hair, lightening, making lighter, the color less strong. CB, should the government provide basic medical facilities to all the citizens for free? Well, basic medical facilities, yes. Uh, I don't, you know, I, this is another big issue that I, I have to talk about this issue in like a minute or less. Canada, places like Canada have free health care. Uh, I do not support free health care. Uh, I think I think the systems like Korea where yeah, the government supports a lot, but people still have to pay uh, a little bit. I think it's always important people pay a little bit. Uh, free health care causes, you know, too much burden on society because a lot of people abuse the system and with free health care there's um, the waiting time increased so I, I think for health care yeah you, you got to give basic sure if it's free but I think a better system is people pay a little bit uh, not all of it the government should help I think the guy it's important for the government to help but People should pay a little bit. Not don't make it one hundred percent free. Uh, I, that's a complicated issue, uh, and I gave my opinion in a minute. Anyway, I got to move on. Layla, I don't like to be in those places which have many people. I don't like to be in those places where many people are. I don't like being in those places where many people are. Which one is correct? What's wrong with? 
I don't like to be. I don't like being. I think they're all correct. Layla, you're just using different ways of saying the same thing. Rowan, everyone watching this channel is obedient. Oh, really? Everyone watching this channel is obedient? All right, guys. Everyone hit the like. Everyone subscribe and hit like right now. Let's see how obedient you guys are. Uh, someone who is not obedient is little Robin here. He never listens to me. I always have to punish him. Uh, we're always fighting. He's always crying. There's so much drama in my house. CB, Robin, compile a list of things you should not do while studying for a major test. Use your phone. Turn off your phone. You know, uh, the phone is the worst. This thing here is the worst thing you can have when you're studying for a test or doing homework. Turn off the phone. That's about all you need on a list. You turn off your phone and your pr product your pr productivity will increase. Madi, you look like a naughty boy. Ah, reminiscing the yesteryears. Uh, Dwee, I will, I will be obedient to what God says. Yes, usually religious people are very obedient to their religion, to their religious beliefs. And a lot of religious people are not obedient. Well, in my opinion, Korean people and Japanese... Korean and Japanese people are are an obedient people, or take out Korean, Korea, in my opinion, Korean and, and Japanese people are obedient. No, Korean and Japanese people are more obedient, so you got to say more obedient than others in the world. Is this correct? Well, we fixed up the English more obedient than... Uh, the truth of the sentence, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think they're very obedient, but are they more obedient? I don't know. Is your country obedient? Sleepwalker. Robert, are you going to grow a big beard? Maybe. What do you think, Sleepwalker? Should I shave it right today or keep growing? Keep growing. Frishta. Hey. The supermarket is full of many customers. My pencil case is full of pens. Did I use full of? Yes. That is correct, Leila. CB, economic benefits of deforestation outweigh the environmental damage. What is your take on the statement? Uh, I disagree. I, I'm not... I'm not supporting of economic benefits to destruction of the environment. Things have to be sustainable. So there's a new word, guys. If you want to practice sustainable. Padme, teacher Robin, tell us about your migration to Korea. Why why don't you why don't you guys tell me a story? Do you miss your hometown? I don't miss Canada. I just came to Korea to work, and I've been here a long time. I'm fine. I don't miss Canada. Robin is good at teaching English. Layla is good at drawing. Perfect. He is good at. Lolly Lolly, I am obedient. I like this video. Thank you, Lolly Lolly. All right, now, Lolly Lolly, what else can what else can we give you to prove you're obedient? Uh, so I've, I've done about 200 live streams, lolly lolly. Please go back to each live stream and like it and write a comment. 
If you do that, you are truly obedient. And lolly lolly, that is a joke. Please do not go back and like 200 videos. CB, Robert, if you if given a chance, would you like to race one memory? Why or why not? No, CB, our memories are who that the memories help me to become the person I am now. I'm I'm not a perfect person now, but I am satisfied. So do I have any really, really bad memories I wish I could delete? I have bad memories, but I don't want to delete them. They they help me get become stronger and appreciate uh, what I have or things in my life. So I, I don't know. Do you, would you delete your memories? Smash that like button. CB, could you tell me who is the apple of your eye? Uh, you, you like to use idioms. So apple of your eye uh let's get the someone you like if 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 we say apple or let's get the exact yeah so cb's asking could you please tell tell who is the apple of your eye so the apple of your eye idiom that means um someone you like someone you like a lot someone special to you and yeah, CB, the apple of my eye would be my girlfriend. Children, be obedient to your parents. That's a good one. Dercio Daniel. Khal Khalil, hello. Sleepwalker, don't shave for a year. Uh, in my life, I don't think there has been one year I didn't shave. I think the longest I've gone without shaving would be four months one year uh, that's pretty tough Gertrudis CB is a basic human right that people need but the government should provide oh Gertrudis is answering answering all right Layla the people in my country are obedient but in many cases they are not obedient yeah that's true for every country don't do that lolly lolly RJ graphics hi Robin I am in your group welcome I want to ask a question to you how to use expression please tell me and give one or two examples thanks what expression you got to give me an expression to use there's thousands and thousands of expressions uh, I'd like to help you out RJ graphics but you got to give me an expression what are you what are you confused about is there some expression you need a little more help with Lewis it is it still complicated to communicate on a daily basis with Koreans? Well, uh, Lewis, I don't communicate daily with Koreans. Uh, if I need to talk to a Korean one-on-one, -on -one, that happens maybe once a month. Maybe once every two months, I need to talk directly with a Korean using Korean language. Other than that, my day-to-day -day schedule activities i'm speaking with other native speakers or koreans who speak english very well so the situation where i'm talking with a korean who doesn't speak english or speaks english very low at a low level maybe once a month twice a month or tw once every two months so that situation no i try to be an obedient student you would just say, I try to be an obedient student and follow Robin's advice. We would put an and follow Robin's advice. Layla, oh, mine was $250. You got ripped off. Ripped off is an idiom that means cheated. Well, that should be in the Oxford Dictionary. So I'm going to go to the Oxford Dictionary, Layla. 
And I'm going to type in rip off. And I'm going to give you the, the definition right here. That's Teacher, we need to use dependable word. What, what do you mean, Madi, by a dependable word? CB, Robin, can you describe these your routine these days? My routine's always the same. Wake up, work on the computer. Um, I try to walk one or two hours every day, and after this live stream, I'm going to go for probably a two- or three-hour walk. Uh, it's going to be past midnight. I like to walk past midnight because nobody's on the street. It's very quiet. Uh, and then tomorrow I'll wake up maybe 9 and uh, work on my computer all day and take a walk at night. Win. Hi, all. I'm late. Better late than never. Layla, he took a thick packet of money out of his pocket. Could you pronounce this sentence? Packet. Thick packet of money? I, I, I'm not familiar with a packet of money. I've never heard of that. But pocket. Packet. Pocket. Where would we use packet? Packet of... Packet of... Biscuits, packet, pocket. Gertrudis, we are working in a, oh, thank you, sustainable project about to provide some education to adolescents to single mothers. Good. Is, is that true sentence or are you just practicing sustainable? Sustainable is a very important word in, for the future of our planet. Leila, what is the most thing you don't like and Korea do it every time? Well, I'm not around Koreans. Uh, I guess staring at me or causing me trouble. Some Koreans are racist and cause me trouble and bother me when I walk around. Uh, I don't like that. Sustainable self belief will lead to success yes do you have sustainable self-belief robin what is idioms cb i'm not a dictionary but you're making me go to the dictionary to for you because you don't know how to use there you go there's idioms uh, if you want to improve your English CB, you got to learn what idioms are. And I made a video on idioms. And it's a great video. Here we go. I made the, the idioms video, video 2018. Wow. I've been live streaming a long time. So, CB, go check out that video. That was a good video on idioms. Can I use respectful instead of obedient? No, obedient and respectful are very different words. Very different words. Madi, I think you don't get a good sleep every night. You are correct, Madi. Uh, I have many jobs, so my priority is always to my university. That is always job number one, and that's where I always have to give 100%. Uh, next is uh, YouTube. Uh, I have to work on uh, not this channel, but my other channel, the big channel, the Shaw English channel. I got to do, I got to edit videos every day. And then I do have a company job uh, and then learn English live. So these are your, and then WhatsApp. 
managing WhatsApp is like a job. So I got to spend a lot of time every day managing WhatsApp. Uh, not these days, but next week again, I got to go back. It's hours every day on WhatsApp. That's like a job too. But of course, there's a lot of friends there, so it's easier. So I don't get a lot of sleep. Uh, maybe six hours I sleep. Anxious. Yep, that's right, Layla. Go easy on it, Layla. You're a big fan of coffee. Go easy on it. Go easy. So not too much. Go easy. A little relaxed. Not too much. Some Alyssa, some high quality products are sold at a sustainable price. Well, the grammar looks good, but I'm not sure the meaning. What is a sustainable price? I don't like my new job, but I have to adapt to it. I, we usually adapt to a job. Sleepwalker, we meet some difficulties that may upset, but do not give up. Do you pay off your bad night's sleep during the next weekend? I have no weekend. I work every day. Oh, I'm almost caught up here. Is it an example, but I'd like to help in that topic. Here's a serious problem. Ooh, what time is it? All right, guys, I'm going to finish up this live stream in the next few minutes. Uh, get any last questions or comments in right now. Layla, management, WhatsApp, don't, doesn't. What's management of WhatsApp is a it. It doesn't cause you stress. It isn't stressful. Uh, so you're, uh, yeah, WhatsApp is very stressful. I meet lots of terrible people every day. A lot of good people, but the good people don't cause me stress. Dwee, what's the reason you go to Korea? But I think you can get a good job also your hotel. Well, to me, I came to Korea to teach English. So uh, why did I stay? Well, I like to travel. And uh, I've traveled to about 40, 45 countries. And I could only do that, you know, if I stayed in Canada, I, I wouldn't be able to travel that much. But I enjoy my life in Asia. So uh, do we, I have no regrets. I love living in Asia outside of Canada. In the future, I'm going to live outside of Canada. A reasonable price. Still a sustainable price. I, I know, I'm sure that expression exists, but I think that's not clear in the meaning to whoever's saying it. Lewis loves sleeping, but I lately, because of the pandemic, I think my sleeping has been disturbed. As they say, it happens around my sleeping before the pandemic and after the pandemic been the same. Nubs, can you give me some tips how to remember something important in exam? Well, what I don't know how you're taking an exam, but work what works what worked well for me still works if I have an exam. Is I always study in the exam place. So if you have a chance, uh, if you're taking taking an exam in a classroom, if you have a chance, study in that classroom um, to remember. I, I also, you know, wrote learning using flashcards or something helps me to remember. You know, everyone has their different system. Uh but I'm not a perfect student, so uh, I'm not the person that remembered perfectly. Win, Robin, I couldn't do a membership on your channel. Yeah, Win, I know. Membership is not required, guys, so uh, you can join the channel. Uh, the membership is low, guys, so uh, I'm not making money from that. Uh, I spend more money for this channel and WhatsApp, 
the membership just it's something right it's something it's some sort of support uh of course my help is always free to everyone and when you tried that's fine if you can't that's fine uh the but uh as i said the membership mainly supports me yes and future teachers because i in a few years i'm not going to be the only teacher here hopefully there's 10 teachers teaching on learn english live and to get to that place you know memberships help things like that All right. CB, can you pronounce this word? That's a British word, so I can't help you with the pronunciation. That's a British word. Thank you, Lewis. Stable prices, yes, but what are sustainable prices? Yeah, my shoes are okay. I, I, I walk a lot. All my life I've been walking, Lewis, so walking's easy. Thank you, Layla. Miss you too. Rob P. I brought this mask a few minutes. I bought this mask a few minutes ago. I bought this mask a few minutes before. Uh, I think both could be, you know, when people are speaking, I, I would choose the first one, but you're going to hear the second one too. Rob P. Uh, if you're writing an essay just a few minutes ago, but if, if someone says a few minutes before, that's fine. Sleep, sleepwalker. I like walking and explore new places. Well, sleepwalker, one day when I travel to your country... Please take me on a hike. Layla, I ate lunch today. I might eat after the live stream, uh, Mom. Lewis, I guess your girlfriend is from Korea. Ooh, maybe. Lewis, if you want to know about my private life, you got to become a member. Then you have access to all information. Yeah, Layla, I think Layla would love cooking for me. Dukre. Hi, Robin. We're just finishing up Dukre Umar. Layla is very kind. All right. Thank you, guys. I'm going to end it now. Sorry I had no lesson today. Next week, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but uh, hopefully I can teach you guys something. And thank you again, Michelle, for your coffee support. Uh, Michelle is definitely... Uh, Michelle and Layla are definitely uh, two students that are very helpful to this channel. They're always very diligent. They always do their homework. They always participate every day. Uh, I'm very proud of these student, these kind of students. So thanks uh, to Michelle and Layla, as always. And of course, the other guys, uh, Madi, May, Lolly, Lolly, thanks for your support. That's helping me. Gertrudis, if you're still listening. Um, Daniel, uh, all of you guys, uh, it helps. All right. I'll see you in the future.